Thanks for checking out this video. So this is to announce the next watch party that we've been doing. And if you're finding yourself saying watch party, what watch party? Every other Saturday, I've been doing a watch party with a bunch of other people, uh, very cool people actually. And it's open to the public and it's through the program Scener, which Scener actually is an extension of Google Chrome. So all you need to do in order to join this is have Google Chrome, have the extension Scener, spelled S-C-E-N-E-R, downloaded and create a free account on Scener. Then go and follow my profile and that is at uh, scener.com backslash Carlton Malibu or slash Carlton Malibu spelled C-A-R-L-T-O-N-M-A-L-I-B-U. And actually the, the easiest thing to do at that point is to just follow my profile there because then you'll be able to easily find it whenever you need to. So the last thing you need is a shutter subscription. Uh, those are the main things that you need for this. And then if you want to, you can use a camera and or microphone, but that's only open to the first like 10 people who show up that I can give co-hosting abilities to. Otherwise, if you just want to be in the chat and just type, you can do that as well. That is totally fine. So for the next one we're doing, it's actually a big one for my birthday. I decided that I've been huge into Giallo films recently. So why don't we do what I'm kind of dubbing Giallo Palooza? for my birthday, so May 22nd, Saturday, May 22nd, instead of starting at the normal 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be starting at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're gonna be doing close to 10 hours of Giallo films, uh, so you don't have to feel like you have to be there for the whole time, you can pop in, pop out, um, one movie, two movies, wh whatever you wanna do. So for that reason, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of each film I'm gonna do in order that day and about what time frames they're gonna start be started at. But, you know, obviously if I'm running behind or anything like that, it changes a little bit. So just, you can check in and check out. So at noon, we'll be starting with the Mario Bava film, Evil Eye. I think this is a really good place to start because this is considered to be the very first Giallo film ever made. Don't miss that one if you like Giallo and you haven't seen it, it's wonderful. Uh, the next one should be shown around 1.32 p.m., and that is The Case of the Bloody Iris, which is very, very fun, and it has my girl Edwige Fenech in it. Love Edwige. Uh, then the next one is at about 3.10 p.m., and that's The Black Belly of the Tarantula, also a really fun one. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should. A lot of quirky characters in that one, and that's one of the things I like. Then at about 4.40 will be The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. This is in my top 10 list of Giallo. It's a really good one, great story to it. And once again, my girl Edwige is in it, so I like that. Then at 620, this is one that's kind of polarizing. People either love it or hate it. And that is Short Night of Glass Dolls by Aldo Lotto, uh, who's not very well known. But I think it's a really good Giallo film and I want to kind of introduce more people to it, so... Just know that. So that's at 620. And then the final one should start around 7.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is The Editor, which is a Giallo film. It's more modern. I think it's from 2015. It's a Giallo film that makes fun of Giallo while using Giallo and paying homage to it at the same time. So it's a parody Giallo film, basically. So the, the reason I'm ending with that one is because... After watching a bunch of Giallo, you'll kind of get more of the jokes and what they're doing as far as parody and homage in the film. So it's a good way to wrap things up, I think, personally. So, yeah. Um, gonna be fun. Gonna be a lot of fun. So join me for this. Uh, I feel like there was probably something else I wanted to say about it. Yeah. Just to reiterate, pop in, pop out, uh, as you wish. Uh, Google Chrome, the Scener extension, Shutter uh, account. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention about this that is very important, there will be no subtitles. I'm only doing the dubbed over versions so that it's more accessible to people. I can also turn subtitles on if people want that, but one of the ways I really prefer to access Giallo films is with the dubbed over English because it adds that extra level of cork to it. Plus, a lot of those films were actually intended to be released internationally that way. So, I don't know. It's just a preference of mine, so just know that. But anyway, hopefully people uh, want to join. If it's just me by myself watching Giallo, I'll still be pretty happy to. So, 
Anyway, thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.